why don't you come on down to New York? She does, she moves in with me in Brooklyn. I've never lived with a girl before in my life. It's all very exciting and romantic. She redecorates the apartment. Suddenly people are coming over, saying all kinds of things they'd never said before, such as, nice apartment, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's the same apartment, what do you think about, you know? And it's super and it's duper, man, you know? <laughs> Only problem is, I've never actually said that before. It's super and it's duper. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's good that this is the one being filled, really. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it was duper, guys. Uh, this is my restaurant. <laughs> And I am so surprised that all I could do is just, just walk away for a moment, you know? And think to myself, have I always had this power? <laughs> <laughs> and this is how I find out. There's a reason that within the first five minutes of meeting any friend or any stranger, we all let each other know what relative level of tiredness we are currently experiencing. <laughs> Just in case you do something that's a bit much, you can be like, remember I told you how tired I was? And you'd be like, oh my God. Remember I said how exhausted I was? And you'd be like, oh my God, we're so much, you know what I mean? And we do that our whole lives, right? Until finally, we die. And everyone gathers around our grave, and they're all like, oh my God, rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> And a stewardess is walking down the center aisle of the plane, and she has a compassionate face. And she gets to my aisle, and she bends over, and she looks at me, and she says, Vanessa's told me about Lucy, and I know how you feel. And I'm like, you don't know how I feel. Like, nobody's ever felt the way I feel, okay? You know what I mean? Because if any human being's ever felt the way I feel, then how do human beings ever go on with their lives? It's impossible, you know? And she says, but this is the thing, okay? He has to sit here for security purposes. Do you know what I mean? And I'm like, oh my God, he's an undercover air marshal? <laughs> Who, I don't know, maybe has a gun? Who must be wondering how it's come to pass that while he's literally trying to fly underneath the radar, I've become the focal point of everyone on this plane because of a silent raging man next to him. <laughs> so she moves me and Vanessa to another couple of seats.